I'm doing it again. I'm not bleaching it this time, guys. I'm not bleaching it. Why can't I not get these gloves on my hands today? Do not even worry. I'm not gonna bleach it for a long time until it grows completely out. I'm not gonna even think about that because if I bleach it again, I will have no hair. I thought I was gonna have no hair last time and that was enough to scare me out of bleaching it, but not enough to scare me out of dyeing it. Here I go. I didn't prepare anything. I didn't put on any Vaseline. I'm gonna be so honest. This is just gonna be a quick process. It's gonna be quick. It's gonna go on there. We're gonna be good. It's gonna be fine. Sectioning will be minimal. We're just gonna take a piece and we're just gonna go. That's the sections. Why is one side lighter than the other side? It looks like I did a split dye. I've done split dyes in the past, but not this time. And it looks like I did. This is my excess dye from last time. It smells kind of delicious, actually. I wasn't drinking it, I was sniffing it, see? It smells good. So we're just gonna wing it. That's the process. Yeah, that's the process, guys. Ooh, it's thicker now. It's already been started, there's no going back now. If you haven't seen my hair update video, go watch that so you understand what the state of my hair is and why I feel comfortable doing this right now. It doesn't look great right now. It looks kind of, it looks kind of ugly because the color has since faded a lot. Um, and I don't like that. I'm really hoping I don't spill this on the floor this time because if you're wondering, I didn't put anything on the floor. If you're wondering why I'm not looking at the camera, it's because I'm looking at the mirror that's behind you guys. I'm trying my best to get it all in there. This um, dye, what I've noticed about it is it's very shampoo-like. It like gets sudsy somehow. That is too big of a piece, I will admit. That is too big of a piece. I have no one in here to stop the camera, so you're just gonna get random bits of me talking. And I'll try to edit this the best that I can to make it appealing. Yummy. Now it's still making weird sounds when I put the dye in, and I can't tell if that's because my hair is damaged or if it's because this dye is so like shampoo-like. I don't know how to describe what this dye is like besides saying shampoo. It really feels like shampoo, like so much. So I'm gonna look at the camera for a little bit because that's probably what I should do when I'm recording. That's what you do in YouTube. Um, hi guys. I see dying hair as a form of self-expression. It doesn't really mean anything except for I like this color. You know what I you know what I'm saying? Like it means something to me in a sense where it means that I get to express myself in um, it's more of like a style thing, like the way I like to the way I like to have my hair. I don't like having it natural colors most of the time, but that's really it. It's just something I like. It's pretty slay, if you ask me. I'm really trying to get it in there. Hope I don't run out of dye. I think I have enough left over to do this. If I don't, that's gonna be awkward, guys. It'll be real awkward if I don't have enough dye, but I think I do. I honestly, I can't see the back of my head. Like, I can't. And I can't grab a mirror right now because my hands are covered in dye. So I'll check it out after I think I'm done. The sectioning is becoming worse and worse as we go. I'm gonna do something like that. I hope you guys don't freak out too much for me because I'm not bothered by this. If I was bothered by this, I wouldn't keep like putting stuff in my hair, you feel? So don't be worried, don't be worried about it. It'll grow back, it grows back. I appreciate anyone's concern for my bleached hair. It was really nice seeing that people actually cared and were trying to help me correct what was happening. I appreciate all of you who who are helping me out. I'm gonna be so for real, my phone ran out of storage and I don't know where it stopped and I have no clue what I was saying. Um, also the water's running because I'm washing out the bowl that my hair and I was in. This is what's happening. I didn't 
check to see if it was everywhere. So I'm gonna do that real quick with this mirror. Yeah, it looks like it's everywhere. It's pretty good. I just finished putting this in my hair a minute ago and I listened to your guys' advice even though the instructions said to brush the dye through. I did not comb it through this time because you guys said even if it says to do that, don't brush your hair when it's wet, when it's damaged. So I didn't brush it through this time. I'm gonna update you guys after I rinse this out and shampoo. Slay. I let the dye sit in my hair for about 30 to 45 minutes-ish before I rinsed it out. There's still some pink coming out of it, as you can see. Okay, this towel is kind of bleached, but there is still some pink coming out of it. This is what it looks like before I brush it through, guys. Just like, now I have my trusty argon oil. Um, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it still, but um, while I was in the shower, I used my herbal essences. Um, it's called Color Me Happy, um, and that is um, Herbal Essences Shampoo and Conditioner for Dyed Hair. As you can see, I'm not light on the oil. I put it all throughout my hair before I brush it. it makes it easier to brush and it keeps it conditioned. In some places, my roots did not take very well um, because they're not bleached and I didn't, there was no way, there was no way I was about to try that right now. That, Absolutely not. Um, I had a little bit of breakage in the shower, but that's normal for me right now. That happens all the time now that it's well, now that it's quite damaged. It was pink before the brown, before I bleached it again, if that makes sense. So there's pink under here already. So some of it is just not taking in general, but it's already pink, so it kind of blends in. I will update you guys when this is dry, which will probably be in the morning. My hair is a lot healthier than it was before. Um, if you want to hear about the progress of my hair, you can check out my hair update, which if I remember, I'll link it up here, but we'll see. If not, it's the most recent video on the channel, so check it out. Also, follow my Instagram, guys. It's the same tag as my YouTube. It's right here. Um, follow that and follow my TikTok. They're all the same. They're all the same app. And subscribe to see more of what I'm doing. Slay. Hi, hey guys. Just remembered I did not give you an update on the end product of my hair. It's the same color as before. I have washed it once since I dyed it, which it's only been like two days. This is what it looks like dry. These braids are a little messed up because they've been in all day. But yeah, so that's all for this video. Um, and I hope you guys are having a great day and I hope you're enjoying these hair videos. Um, posting a skincare routine next, so watch out for that. Um, and don't forget to check out my Instagram and my TikTok. Later.